So the Jurassic World trailer was released the other day and it looks really, really awesome. Everyone's been making videos about it and I'm really excited to see it now. I was always kind of interested, but now I'm really excited. So here are the top seven reasons why I think Jurassic World is going to rock. And yes, every point that I'm bringing up has already been said by someone else. So I'm gonna include links in the description to all those videos because fair is fair. But this is more just my take on these things. Number one, it's written by the same people that wrote Rise of the Planet of the Apes. How awesome is that? As you guys know, I love Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Seems like a really good fit because that movie had like a mixture of science with animal stuff, but also there was good, like an emotional core to that movie. So I couldn't hope for a better pair to write Jurassic World. Number two, this is not a remake. Oh, so glad that it's not a remake because Jurassic Park was so amazing that there's no way anyone could ever equal that. So they very wisely are just continuing on with the story. Good job. Clever girl. Number three, as many have already pointed out, Chris Pratt in the trailer here is riding with the Velociraptors. They're obviously not trying to eat him, so he's like part of the pack. This seems to suggest that Chris Pratt has been accepted as part of the pride. Some people think maybe this is that Chris Pratt has trained the Velociraptors. I don't think it is. I think what it is is, you know how sometimes you get those people who like, uh, who like study a, a pack of wolves and they eventually become accepted as part of the pack? I think that's what's happened with Chris Pratt with these Velociraptors. He's been accepted as part of the pack. So it's going to be him and his Velociraptors hunting this mutant dinosaur, the D-Rex, as it's known. Number four, no Jeff Goldblum. That's a good thing. Number five, as pointed out by Mr. Sunday Movies, in this picture you can see the northern part of the island is classified as restricted. Matched up with the maps that we see in Jurassic Park, the original movie, that was the T-Rex section. So they probably have the T-Rex being free range, that that's all T-Rex territory. They've just fenced it off to let the T-Rex do his thing and that nobody goes in there. So it makes me wonder, because as we've seen, the T-Rex is able to sort of jump walls, or apparently jump walls. So if he jumps the wall into the T-Rex paddock, are we gonna get a versus between the D and the T-Rex? Probably will. I hope it'll work out better than the one in Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> That is one big pile of shit. Reason number six, they don't show the D-Rex. There has been some concept art released about what it might look like, which probably isn't true. So I'm gonna feel free to put it up right here. Yeah, weird looking thing. But that's early concept art. It might not look anything like that anymore. But it's good that they don't show him. That way it's gonna be more exciting when we do see him. Shows they know how to handle tension. And you need to know that if you're making a Jurassic World movie. Reason number seven, Listen to this sound. Really listen to it. Does it remind you of anything? As has been pointed out in the video that I'll link you in the description, it sounds a lot like the Godzilla sound. Let's just put them back to back. Now again, the rights are owned by the same company, so are they hinting at a possible crossover? Or are they just really cheap and they're using the same sound effect? I don't know, but when I watch this movie, I'm gonna be looking out for other little Easter egg crossovers. Maybe these are the same people that end up making Mothra. I don't know, could happen. So those are my top reasons why I'm really excited for Jurassic World and why I think it's gonna rock. Question, out of all the Jurassic Park movies that we've had so far, what is your favorite moment? Was it raptors in the kitchen? Was it T-Rex attacking the cars? Was it the clever girl bit? Was it Newman getting a face full of black ink? <laughs> but what is your favorite dinosaur moment from the Jurassic Park franchise? Put it in the comments, and until next time, I will see you guys in the comments.